Algorithms and Flowcharts Part 3 Looping Let us see how to use loops in flowcharts. Repeating a set of instructions until a specific condition is fulfilled is known as looping. In looping, the value of count is initialized to 1. This value is incremented or decremented until the loop executes the desired number of times. After that, the loop ends. This is known as a loop. To understand this better, let us take some examples. Let us draw a flowchart to find the sum of first 50 natural numbers. Students, here is the flow. Start. Sum is equal to 0. N is equal to 0. Loop. N is equal to N plus 1. Sum is equal to sum plus N. If N is equal to 50, exit loop. Else, execute loop. Print sum. Stop. Let us draw a flowchart to find the factorial of a given number n. Students, here is the flow. Start. Read n. Set m is equal to 1. f is equal to 1. Loop. f is equal to f into m. m is equal to m plus 1. If m is equal to n, exit loop, else execute loop. Print f. Stop. Here you can see that the loop has been used, which is executing till number m and f are equal. Again, you must focus on how the loop starts and how it ends. Using the connector symbol. Connector symbols are used to join flowcharts that span or cover multiple pages. The example of a flowchart with connector symbol is shown here. Here, the flowchart is split in two pages and is connected by the connector symbol. Thank you for watching this video. For more videos, please subscribe our YouTube channel. Thank you.